Welcome to Talk Football with Tyrone and welcome to our video today. In the 1970s and 80s, the Dutch national team was found to be incredible because of their total football tactic that involved rotations and movements amongst players on the pitch. This was the first evident of a known football tactic that was to be introduced in what football known as positional play. Rinas Michels, the Dutch national football team coach, together with the captain and world-renowned football manager and player Johan Cruyff were the pioneers of positional play. So, positional play introduced by Rinas Michels and fathered by Johan Cruyff was first introduced in European football at Ajax under the disguise of total football. Positional play continues to be one of the most renowned football tactics that a lot of managers have tried to exemplify and use to coach their teams. Before we continue, I'd like you to like, share and subscribe to this channel. One of the coaches who has improved and evolved positional play is Pep Guardiola at his Manchester City club, Barcelona and Bayern Munich. Other managers who have employed this formation include Thomas Tuchel who has used it at Paris Saint-Germain and at Chelsea and is currently implementing it at Bayern Munich. Another manager is Mikel Ateta who has had success at Arsenal employing this positional play tactic. Another manager to improve his team with this tactic is Mauricio Pochettino who deployed it at Tottenham and effected a high pressing football in possession and without the ball. Another manager to successfully use this is Xavi at Barcelona and this has been one of the models being employed by Barcelona as a result of Cruyff introducing it back then and this has also been among former Cruyff students like Luis Enrique who has employed it at Barcelona and the Spanish national team. The key pillars of positional play include playing out from the back, control of possession, positioning of players on the pitch, movement of players, compactness, exploiting the half spaces, combination play, counter pressing, vertical play and overload to isolate a strong athletic player against a player who has a weakness either in terms of pace or general football ability. And let's understand. One of the key strengths of positional play is the building from the back. This involves the use of a goalkeeper who is excellent with the ball at his feet, two ball-playing centre-backs, a holding midfielder who is comfortable on receiving the ball under pressure, and full-backs giving the team width in the defensive third. From this clip here, you can clearly see how Arsenal are able to beat Manchester City Press through quick, fast-time passing and this is done because of the excellent center backs and their goalkeeper to be able to evade the pressure and reach the final third where they score an easy goal. Unlike how the traditional pitch is divided, in positional play Pep Guardiola uses this grid like structure to define his pitch. His vertical zones are divided into five zones, the wide areas which are two the two half spaces and the central zone, while the horizontal space is divided into six. This enables the players to learn and understand which areas of the pitch they are able to occupy and where they should move in event a teammate moves in a different direction. Positional play is predominant in two formations, the 4-3-3 and the 3-4-3. Now, because most teams will not line up in a straight line that is four defenders three midfielders and three attackers this will enable the team to be easily pressed and will not enable the team to progress with the ball so the team has to be arranged in a staggered position one of the key principles of positional play is no more than two players in a vertical space that is two players in a half space two players in a central zone and two players in the wide areas another key philosophy and principle of positional play is no more than three players in a horizontal space they can only be three players and less this is to ensure equitable distribution of players on the pitch 
This football philosophy does not restrict players to occupy one position on the pitch and most likely they involve constant movement and rotation of playing position. For example, if a winger tucks in and cuts inside and a fullback overlaps, it is on the owners of the central midfielder to push and occupy the position left by the fullback to cover for the fullback advancing. Alternatively, if the center midfielder pushes up to occupy the half space, the winger will be forced to play out wide. And when there are three players, more than three players in the same vertical space, the fullback will push out to give the team extra width. Alternatively, the holding midfielder drops in between the center backs during build up. And this constant rotation amongst players ensures the team is not easily marked. And this is a common feature among teams that employ positional play tactics, such as Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. Now, another aspect of positional play is switching of play. This switching of play tactic involves switching the ball to one winger who is quick, fast, and technically advanced or technically superior to a fullback who's weak and is not quite fast this may create a 2v1 numerical superiority in the wide areas where a central midfielder might attack the half space or the winger may decide to take on the fullback this is common amongst manchester city where we see half space runs by kevin de bruyne and ilkay gundogan Positional play is not quite an easy football philosophy to be implemented on a football team and this takes years of practice or it takes players with advanced technical capabilities who are able to adapt fast to a manager's expectations on the principles of positional play. This requires players with good technical understanding and ability to master the principles of positional play. At Manchester City, Pep Guardiola had to replace Joe Hart immediately he arrived with Claudio Bravo because Bravo was better playing with the ball at his feet than Joe Hart. But Bravo leaked a lot of goals and that resulted in Guardiola bringing in Ederson. This football tactic must be supported with players who understand what the coach wants and are able to interchange their positions in their movements and adapt to meet the manager's expectations. If you've stayed with us till the end of this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. We are on our way to 1000 subscribers. Please invite someone to subscribe. If you've stayed with us, thanks for watching.